Being into you and right on cue, the sun has come out in Tala in South County Dublin for this game between Shamrock Rovers and Dundalk, kicking off very shortly at 8 o'clock. 40 days since last uh, Shamrock Rovers played at Tala Stadium. Seems like a long time ago. That's a lovely ball inside from Watts to find Darren Nugent, the cross, and the header is just wide of the post from Aaron McInef. So close to his first goal of the season, a lovely delivery from Darren Nugent, he was close. Yeah, it's a brilliant ball in from Darren Nugent, he's just put it into a great area and hoping somebody's coming on from the edge of the box to meet it. Good little piece of play here from Byrne, good interplay here, and yeah, he just sticks it up between the penalty spot and the edge of the box. And 20 minutes into this game, a couple of crosses from Darren Nugent on the right-hand side, the uh, McIniff header, which went just the wrong side of the post, but... Dundalk with the chance here as Hakiki robs Sean Hall, and the shot by Kenny. Good block by Pico Lopez. Rovers almost played themselves into trouble there. A chance for Dundalk to take advantage. Dundalk, they had three up top there with Kiki, Benson and Morgan. The Kiki here gets right at him, Hort as well to get back and Lopez does really well to get the block in. You don't want to be giving up chances like that though. For One of them is Kenny. And again Kenny, a great block on the second occasion that time from Bobby Faulkner. Two good blocks really from Faulkner to deny Johnny Kenny there. And back by Sean Hoare. And here's Kenny once more inside the area. Lovely pass from Dylan Watts and a really clinical finish from Johnny Kenny for his 10th league goal of the season. And midway through the first half, Shamrock Rovers have the breakthrough. Johnny Kenny, the scorer, is Rovers 1, Dundalk 0. Oh, it's a brilliant finish, it's a tight angle as well, Monroe as well to close that angle. Faulkner had done so well initially to get two blocks in. You can see it here, it's really well done from, from Falkner to get the block in. And he just couldn't get back in line with that ball over the top and Johnny Kenny was a brilliant finish into the far corner. No chance for Ross Munro. Super pass, wasn't it? Yeah, you can see Johnny Kenny pointing exactly to where he wants it. Gets it off his knee, brilliant finish into the far corner. Is that the uh, spark to light Shamrock Rovers' fire? Certainly a crucial goal in this game. Box, but that's brilliant. Watts around the corner for Kenny, who's been pulled back by Faulkner there, and the referee spotted that, gives the free kick. And goalkeeper saw it down low. Monroe probably should have done better, but it's a similar position. Jack Byrne. Jack Byrne with the hit, oh, it's just the wrong side of the post, great effort from Jack Byrne. Had the win behind him, looking for his first goal of the season, Jack, not too far away. Yeah, got it up and down well, but you'd fancy Monroe to get over, it wasn't too much pace on the ball, it was more of a swinger. Tala, the you know, rain coming in over the Dublin Mountains, Dylan Watts is going to be the next player to get a yellow card for that little pull back there around it's hard to know which way the wind is blowing really it's coming in on top of us at the moment Benson with a good strike but it's off target and Poles was happy to see that one go the other side of the post yeah he's tried to hit it with the instep and get a bit of pace and movement on it but it was probably just that little bit too far out and curls wide and Robbie Benson of course famous for one of the great European goals in Dundalk's history Gary O'Neill forward for Jack Burns. Nice passing football, lovely flick from Watts there for Jack Byrne again. Still Jack Byrne. The shot from Byrne is on target, well held by the keeper. Yeah, it's good football though. Yeah, it's brilliant football from him and Watts. You can see a little flick back in from Watts to, to find Jack Byrne and he skips through a couple of chances. Decides the first two aren't for him and steps over them and waits till the third and gets the shot off and it's a good save from Monroe. Even the decision open, Dundalk are still well in this. Here's O'Neill. Nugent. Again, he looks very strong, driving forward. Darren Nugent just skipped past those challenges. Good ball for Kenny, the shot's on target. Comfortable save, though, from Ross Monroe. 
Yeah, it's a really elegant, beautiful run from Nugent there. Skips past two or three and feeds it into Kenny. You'll see it here. To be fair, they haven't played a glove on him, really. Three of them there. You'd be looking to get it a little bit closer to him, but it's brilliant free from him. Oh. Now it's Archie Davies again. Drifting past Poom. Leaves it for Horgan. Doyle. Ambitious effort from Doyle. Long way out, off target. Never really threatened Leon Pohl's goal. It's, it's about as close as they've got to the goal in the second half, though. It's 30 yards out, and doesn't Doyle gets it out of his feet and falls nicely for him, and he thinks, why not? I'll have a crack from here, given the conditions, but doesn't catch it at all. Watts with the ball towards the edge of the six-yard area. Nobody got a touch. It's going to run all the way through to Aaron Green. Nugent. Nugent with the shot and forces the save. Good one from Ross Munro. That is near post. A really good strike as well from Darren Nugent. Yeah, he got it out of his feet about 30 yards from goal. Realised nobody was coming out to meet him and knocked it on a couple of yards. You can see here, got himself an extra two yards. Gets a knuckleball shot off and Monroe as well. On a hand now for Lopez. Nugent, who's been very energetic throughout this game. Dara Burns. Little pass with the outside of the boot to Aaron Green. Burns with the shot, blocked away for a corner. Nice build up play from Shamrock Rovers, though. Great to have Dara back as well. He started the season so well with a couple of goals and good performances. You just see how neat he is with his pass and the great little outside of the left foot ball into Aaron Green who lays it back off and gets a shot away to go block out for a corner. It was an important block as well. It's gone towards the near post in the end, cleared away to safety, relative safety anyway. And now Watts can come away. Here's Tao. Well, that's a loose pass from Tao, getting it straight to Elliot. And the shot is on target. Good save, Leon Poles. Cameron Elliot hit that well. The goal came about. And Richie Tao gave the ball away very cheaply in a dangerous position. Yeah, Tao's looking up and looking to find somebody, but gives it away so cheaply. Brilliant play from Elliot. Gets turned on him, and he's got Honerton faced up. Good shot in, and really well. Sharp. With the uh, cross, which is picked up by Doyle. What a chance of a break for Dundalk here. Morgan. Garbutt. It does look like he's got a bit of pace about him, all right. Archie Davies in support as well. Dangerous ball from Davies. And a real chance here for O'Kane. He hasn't hit it. And it's gone wide to the relief of Shamrock Rovers. That was the chance for Dundalk. That's what they've been waiting for. They've hung in the game all all evening and it's a brilliant play from Garbutt down this right hand side into Elliot head to down and a little flick on from, from Horgan over and it's a chance again it's that cold he doesn't want to see it when he hit the post in the first game brilliant play down this right hand side Archie Davis gets the ball off guard here it's a really good ball in it's really clever from Daryl Horgan just to nod it down doesn't catch it at all swings at it and slices it Beat, uh, Aaron Green in the air there Here's Davies is seeing a lot of the ball on the right hand side. Aaron Green coming over to close him down. It's gonna run through here to Sean Kyo. Kyo's cross into the area, and that's another save from Bolt. That is near post to deny Cameron Elliott. Another Dundalk corner. Good response here from Dundalk in the last couple of minutes in search of an equalizer. Yeah, it's a brilliant play down this left hand side again from Dundalk. Good ball in. Elliot does really well to get in front of his man and get a header down. Totally unorthodox in poles, but it keeps it out. It's going to be Paul Doyle to send this in again. The six yard box is just so packed. It's right under the crossbar, and the goalkeeper, Poles, has grabbed it. And maybe with that, Dundalk's last chance of an equaliser has gone. Leon Poles looking for his eighth clean sheet of the season. And as we hit the 94-minute mark, referee 
blows the final whistle and a three important points for Shamrock Rovers. A narrow victory, but a vital victory. The only goal of the game coming from Johnny Kenny on twin. So, uh, from Talis Dade and from Barry, from myself, Con Murphy, and from Terry and Caleb on cameras, and Jesse, our director. And thanks for being with us here on LOI TV. We'll see you again very soon.